Welcome back. In this module, we will learn why self-control is important in the samurai and how it plays a role in the Bushido code. If you were to imagine a warrior, what kind of personality would come to mind? A passionate and emotional warrior or a cold, heartless killing machine? There have been many warrior cultures throughout our history with many beliefs on the appropriate personality for a warrior. The samurai is a warrior with iron self-control, neither joyous nor angry, neither cold nor heartless. He would be a warrior who doesn't reveal any emotions to the enemy because he keeps himself under control. It is said that knowledge is power, and this was especially true for the samurai. If your enemy has knowledge of your thoughts, your emotions, your desires, he has power over you and the ability to weaken or defeat you. Self-control was therefore an essential trait for a samurai to have, so as not to reveal or create weaknesses for enemies to exploit. It was also considered unmanly for a samurai to show his emotions on his face. The samurai did not show affection for family members in public, which seems to be taking things to the extreme, but such was their belief in the need for self-control and stoicism. Self-control by the samurai was not restricted only to the mind and emotions. The samurai were, first and foremost, warriors. Control over the body was imperative for a samurai. Greed, lust, sloth, all these sins of the flesh were forbidden to the samurai. A more physical control, control over limbs and muscles, was needed so as to fight well in battle. The ideal of the samurai sword fighting techniques was to become one with the sword. Absolute self-control over one's body was necessary to achieve this ideal. Let's take for example, self-control and self-discipline have largely fallen from the radar in today's society. I will not name names, but it is evident from statistics that there are countries where a large section of the population is overweight or obese. That is a direct result of the virtue of self-control not being practiced or believed in those countries anymore. I'm sure that I don't need to touch on the subject of drug abuse. That is a total absence of self-control to the point where the user engages in self-destruction. There are countries where so little self-control is expected of the citizens that they pass laws to escape acts done in anger or extreme emotion. Unfortunately, self-control as a virtue is not valued in many cultures anymore, but this has nothing to do with you practicing it. You do not need support from others or encouragement to practice self-control. After all, it is yourself that you seek to control, not others. Self-control is about looking inwards. As an employee subordinate to others, self-control is imperative to keeping your job, which is not so different from the samurai really. They were subordinate to their superiors and lords, having to follow orders that they may not have agreed with. The only difference between them and an employee is our, in our modern age is that the employee can resign and seek employment with a new employer while it is impossible for a samurai to do so. Self-control is very important. If your employer is offensive or ungrateful or in the habit of making bad decisions and then blaming you for it, do not lash out in anger or respond to his or her provocations. Just nod, control your emotions and then apply for a new job as soon as possible. Do not let your life and your plans be unduly affected by those who would cause you trouble. As a businessman, there will be many occasions when self-control will be needed for gain or to avoid loss. If you have plans that could be upset by interference from your rivals, you need to refrain from providing any information on plans to anyone who might cause a leak of the information. If you have been cheated or betrayed by business partners or friends, you will need to hold back your anger and admit defeat or simply exert self-control. No one has a perfect victory record in business. There will be times when you lose or get cheated or outmaneuvered and showing your emotions to your enemies at that point will only serve as extra points for their victory over you. So use your self-control. Hide your emotions deep in your heart and show your enemy no weaknesses. Wait for your opportunity to even the score. No matter how badly you have been wrong, there is no benefit to revealing your plans or emotions to your enemy. Let none know or even suspect your plans and your chances of success will increase substantially. There is a Japanese saying that goes, even a lone mutter in a well is known after three years. The meaning is clear. 
any secret that you do not keep deep in your heart will be exposed eventually. Control your desire to share your plans and thoughts with others. Keep them deep inside your heart.